this is Ihab, the owner of the hotel here. I'm staying in the in Mut of Dakla Oasis and I just want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. Not at all. The stay has been incredible and I can really yeah, I really like the hotel. It's you know, with the chill area and the fireplace and it's so idyllic here and then I just sat and chilled under the tree here in the shade. And yeah and you he helped me to maybe organize a trip to to the white desert tomorrow or the day after and yeah thank you so much not at all you are welcome and i hope to see you again here in, in Dakhla. yes <laughs> thank welcome. you, you welcome. maybe i'll come back after one Inshallah. year yes <laughs> so i had a great start to the morning with a great big breakfast it was so delicious and the owner of the hotel was so helpful he helped me to organize parts of the further trip and now me and ahmed are going to the microbus station where I'm hopefully catch a microbus to the next oasis which I'm gonna visit which is called Alfa Rafra and yeah let's see how it goes minibus here and I already met like some people here <laughs> like Ahmed and we are all snacking on these delicious nuts here how, what, how do you call them? Leb? they are le called Leb and you know and yeah and you crack them open in, the, in your mouth and then you eat the nut inside and you you know spit out the rest the, yeah and now, yeah, we have a crazy journey ahead of us, like three or four hours to Alfa Rafra, the next oasis. And yeah, we're really looking forward to the journey. The sun is setting and we are stopped in one oasis, I don't know which which one, but we are still on the way to Al Farafra. And yeah, the road is like really through the desert and really beautiful. And yeah, the, the journey itself is really tiring because there are like 15 or more people like in this small car, <laughs> it's crazy. But yeah, soon we're gonna be there and I'm excited for a hotel and a bed and sleep and food. Oh no, the bus is completely empty and I can sleep here and lay down. And, oh, it was so, so tight in here. We had like four people here in the back.
arrived here in Al Farafra and once again I was greeted from the tourism police out of the minibus and yeah now I'm here in my hotel room yeah, I'm really tired of the journey and yeah today I saw really really awesome deserts around me and sand dunes and yeah it was a like a great sightseeing tour today and tomorrow I'm actually gonna continue even further to the next oasis but I really wanted to visit the white desert which is like a really alien looking white desert which is really unique but I spoke to the police and they said it's closed because it's too dangerous and I don't know why but they say it's too dangerous and it's closed for all tourists so I can't go but the street is straight straight through the desert so maybe I can see it out of the bus tomorrow or I can <laughs> pay a driver to, to illegally drive me there. Yeah, that's that's everything I have to figure out tomorrow in the morning. So the owner of my hotel just invited me to see his family. Yeah. And this is his mother. And yeah, all his family. So nice. Thank you so much for inviting me. Welcome. Thank you. Welcome. Yeah. <laughs> so Hamdi, the owner of the hotel here, is really treating me like a king. It's crazy. He took me into his home, to, to his family, and we had dinner together. And, you know, that's so authentic. It's like not, not that I would, like, buy, you know, the experience with money and then they do it just for the money. It's like they really do it because they are, in their culture, they are so hospitable. That's so crazy and the dinner was delicious and then we had like red tea after that where I, which I tried for the first time which was also delicious and then I met his whole family which was amazing and then he took me to like a hidden gem here in the village which is hot springs but it was like pitch black and it was way too dark to film and we enjoyed their like thermal baths with the night sky over our heads and yeah now i'm back and i'm dead tired and yeah really looking forward to tomorrow and yeah what an what an crazy crazy day <sighs> you never you know you never know how egypt is surprising you on the next day it's crazy